Okay, good morning. Okay, good morning. My name is Tuambo Chisamba Kayombo, and I'm the Second Secretary Tourism at the High Commission of the Republic of Zambia in Kuala Lumpur. Um, our expectation at the High Commission of the Republic of Zambia in Kuala Lumpur, first of all, is we want to showcase Zambia as a premier destination uh, in Southeast Asia, well, not just Malaysia, but we want to showcase ourselves, Zambia, as the premier destination uh, in uh, the whole Southeast Asia, that is Thailand. We're glad to fight Thailand here, and Indonesia, Brunei, just to mention, but a few. Aside that, we also want to attract both the tourists in terms of the tourist arrivals as well as the investors, those that are in, uh, want to invest uh, in the tourism sector in Zambia, particularly our northern circuit. So for that, those are our expectations. We want to partner, we want to collaborate basically with the Southeast Asia, Malaysia as well as uh, Mata, and uh, we want to get as much as possible the benefits of networking as well as collaborations and partnerships. Thank you. Okay, can I ask some questions? Sure. Yes. How Zambia is expanding the halal certified accommodation to attract more Muslim uh, travelers? Uh, my name is Shahid Adam. I'm the company director of Orient Travel and Tours from Zambia and also the vice chairman of Travel Association of Zambia. Uh, with regards to your inquiry about halal tourism, uh, as you know, it's a global demand at the moment where halal tourism is the order of the day. And because of the global demand, the tourism industry in Zambia is also evolving around the same demand, whereby uh, a lot of Muslims from Zambia have gone into the hospitality industry. People have started setting up hotels, uh, lodges, uh, offering purely halal uh, packages where uh, full Sharia compliant uh, hospitality services is being provided in Zambia at the moment. So yes, Zambia is a destination as well where those who are looking for uh, halal tourism the doors are open in Zambia, and you will not go wrong visiting Zambia. Thank you. Uh, if I come back to ma'am, uh, how, uh, what, what is the Zambia's key strategies for promoting sustainable tourism? Uh, so for, um, we do have plenty of um, strategies that we have put in place, especially if for the Vision 2030. So sustainable tourism has been practicing, and uh, we've been practicing sustainable tourism um, for the past uh, uh, couple of years. And as of now, quite a lot of um, sustainable tourism in Zambia has been, um, well, being, is being practiced and is being acknowledged in terms of ecotourism and uh, sustainable tourism. So a lot of um, strategies have, have been put in place uh, and also we're looking forward to the vision 2030. Would you like to add? Sam? Yes, maybe. My name is uh, Sande Mwanza. I'm the Council Economic at the High Commission of the Republic of Zambia in Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, maybe let me talk about my expectation here. Uh, we would like to improve trade and investment between Malaysia and Zambia. And so we, are, we have come to exhibit what is available in Zambia to, to, uh, to show you that you can invest in Zambia in tourism. And as you can see, you can also invest in halal tourism. As you have heard from Shai, um, investments are plenty in Zambia. The Malaysians are welcome to invest in Zambia. And also in terms of trade in other sectors. So um, we, we, we have come to say we want to improve trade and investment between Malaysia and Zambia. In Zambia, how many percent of the population are Muslim? Uh, it's 3.5 percent approximately. So it will equate to about 1.1 to million uh, people from amongst the population of Zambia Muslims. 
Uh, I would ask you what are the specific cultural experiences in Zambia you are promoting to align the Islamic values and attract Muslim tourists? Uh, Zambia uh, generally is a very cultural based country and uh, because of the diverse uh, tribes that are there, there are many tribes which Correct. are present in Zambia and uh, majority of the tribes have the annual uh, tribal ceremonies. As at now, none of the tribal ceremonies are aligned to the Islamic tourism side of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, obviously, uh, we have uh, a few ceremonies which take place annually, like the Komboka ceremony and that. And uh, these ceremonies are global uh, showcases, you know, whereby people from all over the world come and uh, uh, see what is happening in those ceremonies. So, to answer your question, as at now, none of the traditional ceremonies are aligned towards the uh, Islamic tourism. Uh, in terms of any ceremony specifically for the Muslims, uh, no, because uh, Zambia's pop Muslim population is very minimal compared to the actual population of the country. So what's the plan to attract more international Muslim tourists? Uh, and the, Zambia has got a, a few highlights, for example, uh, the Victoria Falls. Uh, the Victoria Falls is uh, is a uh, it's, it's found in Zambia, and the major part of the curtain of the Victoria Falls is in on the Zambian side. Uh, Zambia is also very famous for safari, and uh, the safari experience in Zambia generally is very different compared to any other safari experience globally. Uh, the safari experience in Zambia, majority of the times, you will have a very private experience whereby uh, if you do have any sighting, uh, it will be only either you or another one or two vehicles at that sighting. So that, that experience, that the safari experience, the Victoria Falls experience, and all the other uh, attractions of Zambia. So in all key tourist areas, the Muslim community of Zambia has started investing in the hospitality industry, whereby they are building hotels, lodges, uh, offering tours, uh, restaurants that are fully certified. And uh, when we say uh, Muslim owned, 100% Muslim owned, where there is no alcohol on site, there's prayer facilities on site, uh, total separate facilities for men and women, uh, swimming pools are separate, or if it's not separate, then there's specific timings given for that. So, Alhamdulillah, Zambia is progressing with the demand of the time. That's very good. Coming to you, uh, what are the key source market of tourists now for Zambia? Well, um, our key source markets, we do have European countries like France, the UK, uh, Germany, just to mention but a few. Uh, however, we are not just focusing on the key source markets, and that is the reason why we are um, everywhere in the country globally. As it is right now, we are here in Southeast Asia, and uh, this is an emerging market for us, and we want as much as possible to tap into this untapped potential, because we know that it's a potential market, and for us, we want to attract as many tourist arrivals as possible. What that will do is, first of all, it will um, help us in, uh, economically, it will make us improve, first of all, in the tourist arrivals, as well as uh, um, in the revenues, as well as uh, in the investment part of it. Just like uh, my colleague, Mr. Shahid, has mentioned, a lot of people are investing in Zambia, not just from the key source markets, but from the emerging markets as well, such as the uh, China, um, Southeast Asia, and the rest of the country, uh, the rest of the world. So we're not just focusing right now on the key source markets, but we're all over the world just to make sure to put uh, to get these uh, untapped markets to our country. So what are the mice opportunity in your country? Okay, so in terms of mice, mice is one of the huge opportunities and uh, we want many people to actually invest. That is one of our expectations here uh, participating at ITEX. We want to see as many investors uh, to come and invest into mice. Mice for us is quite big and we want to, uh, very soon we are into uh, establishing our own uh, convention bureau. 
and uh, that is the plan that we are focusing on to right now. So um, not too long ago, we held the UN Brand Africa, which was held in the Livingston. Livingston is the capital, the tourist capital of Zambia. So we do have so many uh, events, huge events of the world that are happening in Zambia, and we just don't want to end there, but we want to make sure as much as possible to tap into the mice um, and uh, get as much uh, opportunities as we, uh, as we can get. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.